Blessed is the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Kingdom citizens, it's your brother Elvis, and today we're going to be talking about Bible details, biblical details. Blessed is the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I would like to start with a prayer. Heavenly Father, we thank you this morning. We thank you for all things. We glorify and exalt the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And we thank you for the revelation and the knowledge that is increasing this last hour. We ask you to continue revealing the mysteries and the things in your word, Lord, that the church may be edified, that Christ may receive the glory, and that we may get to know you better. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen and amen. Uh, we're going to start in the book of Exodus, chapter 13 and verse 21. In Jesus' name. And it says, uh, I just wanted to give a little disclaimer. This is when Israel was traveling in the desert. And as Israel was going through the desert uh, for 40 years, uh, I believe, uh, they ran into hardship and they were going through a lot, you know. And the Lord sustained them and kept them alive as they were in the desert. So this uh, chapter is talking about that and some of what occurred. So the book of Exodus chapter 13 and verse 21 reads in Jesus name. And the Lord went before them by day in a pillar of a cloud to lead them the way. And by night in a pillar of fire to give them light to go by day and night. He took not away the pillar of cloud by day, nor the pillar of fire by night from before the people so this verse is telling us that the Lord did not remove the cloud by day nor the pillar of fire by night it is also telling us that it is the Lord who led the way in the pillar of cloud and in the pillar of fire so everywhere the cloud moved Israel moved following the cloud Blessed is the name of the Lord Jesus Christ that he was directing them in such manner. And why do I bring the scripture up? Well, let's see. Here we see a picture of what a desert looks like, right? And we know that these parts of the earth where it's very dry and there is no shade that we call the desert with the sun, it reaches a high temperature, maximum temperature of about 134 degrees Fahrenheit. Now we know, brothers and sisters in the Lord, that anything over 100 degrees, like water boils at 100 degrees. If someone wanted to boil an egg, you could put it in water at 100 degrees and the egg will boil. Imagine 134 degrees Fahrenheit, which makes it 56.7 degrees Celsius. This is a high temperature in the desert where there is no shade. There's nowhere to hide because the sun is scorching hot. Listen, a human being, cannot survive one day, let alone years under these conditions. And then I looked up the temperature at night. It drops to minus four degrees Celsius, which translate to about 25 degrees Fahrenheit. At night, there's no sun to keep the land, to keep the, the sand in the desert hot. So guess what? The temperature drops to freezing temperatures where water would freeze. Now think about it, our bodies, blood, and our bodies is not made out of water as well. Think about what would happen. Yet the Lord, I'm going to go back to the verse of scripture. He went as a pillar of cloud during the day. So what does that tell me? The scourging sun that would have killed Israel was blocked by a cloud that provided comfort, that provided shade to Israel. Blessed is the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And then by night, when the temperature drops, guess what? There was a pillar of fire there. So not only did it produce light, as the scripture says, it also produced heat. Because fire produces heat. is a byproduct of having fire. So we see here how the scriptures remain true. Under normal conditions, a person cannot live for years in the desert just plainly living in the desert because the conditions the elements the sun and the day the scourging hot sun think about it at 12 o'clock noon one o'clock the temperatures that that rises in the sun 
and you do we do have animals uh, in the desert like like snakes and scorpions that go under the earth under the sand because it's so hot a human being cannot go under the sand under the sand so think about that but guess what the lord provided a way and the scriptures stand true israel was in that time in the desert and they were alive and guess what they also had bread because the lord provided manna bread that fell from heaven in the name of jesus christ and he also provided water he provided everything that they needed and this is confirmation to know that the lord knows your situation the lord knows every single little detail much better than you do of everything that you need in the natural and everything that you need in the spiritual and guess what just like he provided for israel guess what the cloud to protect them he will provide a cloud for you to protect you from the scourging sun when you're in the desert and at night when the temperature drops they had the pillar of smoke so this is very powerful and this right here our bible is the only truth we could stand in this right here is a historical record this is the only truth that we have if god says that there were people in the desert for 40 years there were people in the desert for 40 years and he saw to it that they were taken care of and they had everything they needed because that's how good he is he provides all things blessed is the name of the lord jesus christ just wanted to share that with you guys because uh, i was meditating on yo the desert wait a minute the desert's hot and then guess what at the end of the day god provided a cloud to keep them comforted to keep them cool and at night wait a minute the desert's so cold what, wait how could someone how could someone live under these conditions and guess what god provided a pillar of smoke blessed is the name of the lord jesus christ may this message be a blessing unto you and this is a biblical detail of how israel survived in the desert all glory to christ all glory to god almighty because he kept them alive blessed is his holy name god bless saints may you have a good one and enjoy your day shalom